Shall we met before yeah, in the clinic on the inpatient side today? How's your dad doing? He's just sleeping, tired, yeah. breathing slower. Yeah, I think it's getting closer. Do you know how long we're? Yeah, well, I know he came in a couple of days, and so I got a report from the nurse nap last night, and it sounds like you know his, his body's starting to shut down. Some of the things that I'll take a look at are just, you know, if he's producing any urine, um, listen to how his heart's doing and just kind of try to really look for any things that look like they might be bothering him. Um, and then I can you know, give you a better sense after I do my assessment. From, from just what you've seen since he's been in, inside here, does he look like he's uncomfortable to you right now? Sometimes, but then I'm worried about the pain medication making it go faster for him. Yeah. Faster. So, I don't know how that's going to affect him. Yeah, yeah. So but then I, I don't know. want him to be in pain. Yeah, no, and I remember kind of as things progressed that he was very clear that he wanted us to focus on making sure he wasn't suffering and, and he defined that as not being in any pain and not feeling the shortness of breath that he was experiencing. So let's see, you know, I know he's on, he's on a morphine drip to help with that baseline discomfort and that's just a continuation of what he was taking at home. Yeah. Um, but I do have medication available in addition if he feels like, if, if we see that he's uncomfortable. And so, so the ways that I would look for that are just if his breathing rate, if he starts breathing really fast, I might give him then a dose there. So you can help me in looking for that or let mm -hmm. me know. Yeah. And then just as we're moving him, if he looks like he's grimacing, other things that can give us a sense that, you know, right now it's not enough, we can give him some. And, and to really ad address the concern, the, the primary goal now really is to make sure that he's comfortable and, and it's his cancer that's kind of um, underlying that we're not going to be able to fix. So, yeah. so does that answer kind of the concern? Yeah, I just want him to be comfortable. Just yeah. like well, let me, let me just do a quick assessment here. And what I'm just doing now is just to get a basic sense of where his heart rate is. Okay. And to see if I hear any, kind of any thing in his lungs that might make me feel I need to pay attention if his breathing's uncomfortable. Those, those sound okay. I'm just going to feel for... What normally happens at this stage as people are kind of at the end of the dying process is that everything kind of tends to support the, the organs in the middle, like the heart and the lungs. And so what you might notice is that his arms and his legs might feel a little cooler to the touch, um, not, not kind of look the, the same kind of color um, that we're used to. And, you know, I know that he's got a Foley and we watch the output too, and, and oftentimes that just tends to stop. Um, at the very end, because right now then it's just his body kind of supporting the main two organs. And so those are the things that kind of are telling me that it is sooner, just like you said at the beginning. Okay. And that um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he were to pass on my shift. And so if there are any people who want to come and see him, who haven't, or even if it's we set up a phone next to his ear so he can hear them on the phone, those are some of the things that we can do. Yeah, right now it's just me. Okay. I don't want my daughter's ear. Okay. Just me and then we'll go from there. Okay. Well and so you know what what we what we tell people is that one the hearing is one of the last senses to go and so things that you can do just during this time are just to kind of recall fond memories, you know, share things that you want him to hear. He might not respond in the same way but but he hears you. Yeah. Um, and, and you just want to make sure you don't say anything you wouldn't want. You wouldn't yeah. want him to know, right? Because uh, his hearing's there. So um, that's one of the things that you can do. And what I'll do is I'll also lower this here so that you can just be closer, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, Karen. So I know you're in good hands with your daughter here, okay? And so I'm going to keep checking in on both of you. Um, and she'll make sure to let me know if I need to come in and give you any more pain medication so that you can be comfortable. Any other questions right now? Yeah. No, I think you did a good job answering that. Okay, all right. Thank well, you. I'll be checking in, but you know how to reach me if anything comes up. Okay. Yeah, we will.
he's breathing, I don't think. He's just bonding. Thank you. I'll come in and check every, you know, like five-ish, ten minutes if you need. 